guys welcome back to my video if you're new here my name is jackie aka fabulous jack so guys this is a continuation of the one dollar day goodwill this is the try on part remember i told you guys if i did the whole video it was gonna take too long so this is part two this is where i get to try on the outfit so please like and subscribe and give me thumbs up guys thumbs up i need those thumbs up all right thank you for watching all right let's continue here we go all right so we tried the um the zara pants guys so yeah it fits really good and i have on this um chunky zara knit sweater so the pants come all the way high up it's good it's kind of heavy guys oh let's so try to wear this with a carry this with a bag this is like an impromptu styling video nice yes and my shoes i have one too azara so i'll show you what the shoes look like take my hangers off the floor A little crappy but yeah this is what i'm gonna wear with these pants even though my floor is too fluffy for you to see the shoes but i can step over here i don't know can you still see it probably not so yeah dollar pants Zara. I had gotten these shoes last year on Zara online. I think I paid $29. Nice little ankle booty. So I wear with those pants. So, yep, that looks good. Not too shabby for $1 pants. So what else am I going to try on? Maybe just this little skirt. So, hold on. Okay, so... This is the Zara skirt, $1. For some reason, it's a little big. I feel like if I don't put a belt on it, I'm going to lose it. So, being that this is the only belt that I have in this room, this is the belt we're going to use. Just actually could not match the belts in my bag. Yeah. And I have it on. I still have those shoes on. So what I'm going to do, reason I keep buying all these little mini skirts because I have all this men's blazer. I'm going to put it on with the Hugo Boss double-breasted men's blazer to give it a look. Yes, guys. This right here is a vibe. That's why I love my men's blazers. They are long. They cover my behind. The skirt is just a tad short, but I, you know, it shows in the front. So if you see me coming from the back, you think your girl is only wearing a blazer. Needless to say, I have a skirt in the front. So yeah, this cute little number is how I would style this $1, $1 skirt. Carry this bag with me. My Givenchy esque. I got from Goodwill. So, yeah. Bougie. This is a vibe. I love the skirt. It just kind of feels like it's a little big. But that's definitely. And usually, when I buy these oversized men's blazers, in my head, I'm thinking I have to put a belt over it. But I can wear it just like this. And I'm good to go. Or I can put a belt to make it more cinch, not so boxy. But this to me, the first idea was I like that better. Even though this makes it a little bit more feminine. It's like a little skirt right there. Yes. 
is what it is. So yeah, that's why I get this little bitty skirt because I know I have long blazers that, let me bring you up here. I have long blazers that I can rock with it. I can push the skirt down a little bit if I want to. So you get to see the skirt in the back and the jacket in the front. Show you guys are tired of my my um, oversized blazers, but this is how you get rocks. Seriously. Bag in hand, jacket. This is what I do. If we're going out to dinner, me and my hubby, or if I need to meet some of my friends, I don't feel like dressing up. I just throw up a little skirt and a nice little lace top. In the evenings, it's usually cold in Southern California. So then I look in the closet where all my men's blazers are and bingo. That's how I'm going to wear this nice little Zara skirt for a dollar. I can actually even do that, but no, that will make me frumpy because I'm short-waisted. So maybe just do this part. I wish you had pockets, but no pockets. So something else I would probably wear it with will be this cardigan. Just put a cardigan on instead of a blazer. I can do this cardigan. This to me is like going to the movies where it's usually cold. And I'll probably wear this mostly with jeans or pants, but I'm just giving you an, an option. Not so obvious. Nice. One dollar. One dollar Goodwill. This is what you get when you thrift at Goodwill. You get beautiful Zara item. The cardigan was one dollar. This skirt was one dollar. This lace top I've had for years and years and years. It's just in my drawer where I keep all my little lacy stuff. And yeah, then I thrifted this for what fourteen dollars. Come on now. The only thing I didn't get was the shoe, but I got this at Zara for twenty nine dollars during the pandemic when we couldn't go to the store. So yeah, what else is there to try on? You guys don't want me to try on the pants, do you? I mean, we know how pants fit. It's just, just that. Oh, I know what I want to try on. Where is it? Where is it? I want to try on that little H and M. I want to try this little button H and M skirt because, honestly, I'm a little scared it might not fit. So. Let's see how this is going to fit. Hold on. Okay, this skirt fits. I didn't think this skirt was going to fit me as a little skirt because it's a small. But you know, when there is the will, there's a way. Yes. Now, this skirt didn't cost me a dollar. This skirt was $7, but I only got this skirt because I have so many men's blazers that have gold buttons this is probably not the right one but this is the closest that was next to me when i went to my closet that have all my men's blazers i was like okay i see a lot of gold buttons but i'm just gonna get this one make it work this is by umo peciolici italian brand probably not the right blouse i will wear either but yeah, it kind of look like it works. I will not button it because if I do, I will take it away from the skirt. So the jacket is not as flattening on the side like I want it to be. I think this was a men's short. 
because it's not long enough. I wanted one that would probably, you know, as long as the skirt where well, you don't have to see the skirt because now this kind of look like a female suit and that's not what I was going for. I want a jacket that is longer. So yeah, let's see if I can change this jacket. Okay, so I found this other blazer by Freiburge for Nostrums. So we're gonna try this and see if this is long enough. I want a double breasted. So yes, yeah, okay. This is exactly the other one was a little bit too small for me. This is oversized, which is what I was going for. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's only two buttons. I thought it had three buttons. So, which means I can belt this, but I don't want to do that. So, but anyhow, you guys seem to get the idea. I have to find the right jacket for this skirt, which I know I do have. I just, when you have a lot of stuff, you have to maneuver where you put your stuff. So I thought it was in my men's blazer. Maybe I have one in my garage that I haven't brought upstairs because maybe I'm trying to sell it. There's some ones that I'm selling downstairs in my garage. And then there are the ones that I'm keeping, made it up here with me. So yeah. Nice. Oh, I still have. I'm not even changing shoes, guys. That's how lazy your girl is. Still wearing the same shoe. It's so small. Hmm. When I was buying it, I mean, I know it's stretchy. It's stretchy, but I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to pull it. Bring it all the way close up here. If I was to put it down around my waist area, it won't fit me. And when you pull it up close to your boobies, it won't fit. So yeah, the same Zara shoe. Even though this is an H&M skirt and a nostrums jacket, but it's all about the skirt, guys. That's what we're doing today. I was just showing you how I'm going to style it. And um, yeah, so let's see what else can we do? What else, what else? Let's see. Oh, I'm hot. Yes. Oh, you know, I put, did I? I probably could wear this with a cardigan too. You know, you can do a whole lot. I don't want to do a jacket. Just do this cardigan. Throw it just like that. So then now you get to see the fabulosity of the skirt. This will have to get tucked in back here. It's gonna tuck everything in. Yeah. Yes, this is a dinner outfit. This is you're going out to eat. You know you're gonna be sitting outside. It's gonna be a little chilly. So this is how you wanna come through. Just throw the cardigan over you. Have your nice little lacy, lacy top. Yes, this is a dinner outfit, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So, or if it gets cold, we can put it on. Yeah, so many different looks. So many different looks. Gorgeous. All right. So, the next item I'm going to try on, oh, shoot, maybe I will try on the Zara dress, yes, this dress, 
I might need some help because it is so tight spandexy wise so if this goes through my chest haha that'll be a miracle so let's try okay so we have this dress on but guys it's i don't have my son is taking a quiz so my husband is downstairs and i'm not gonna have him downstairs to help zip, zip me up but you can see it's tight in the booby area so but i will wear this with this zara jacket i got for marshall's remember this oversized boxy split jacket yeah so why am i sweaty and shiny but this is i don't know i might wear with a different jacket it depends on how i'm feeling i might do nice little chunky belt which i don't have here with me maybe um one of my valentino belts or my chanel belt i mean this might of course just show the gold part of it right there yeah that adds a little kind of give me a waistline add a little oomph to it the back is still what it is or i can actually put it over the jacket we can try that part I'm liking this part better. What do you think? Yes. I still got that. Nice oversized. Kind of business like streetwear jacket, business dress. So business meets streetwear. Nice. Oh, and I grabbed this bag because it was just there. Or back to our pink. Yeah. Yes, it's like you're going to a, a meeting and you want to look presentable, but then you got chic in the back of you. You can do that or you can just do it on the dress and let the jacket do what it does. Be oversized, which is what it's meant to be. It's an oversized jacket. So very boxy, but... That's what Zara wanted you to have. So yeah, still have the same shoe. Never changed the shoe. Still the same. Yep. Cute, 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 cute. Maybe something with some color, not so, not so drabby. But earth tones are my things. I like gray. I like black. I like brown. Maybe a little pop of color right here because the belt is pink. Yes, yes. So that was that dress. That was the only thing I was scared of because I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's going to fit me. But, you know. Oh, there's one more thing we need to try on then. I don't know if I want to try on anything else. This little bitty dress with the shoulder part. I'm gonna try that on with the with the gray with the gray jacket. Yes, I might need a longer boots for this, but we'll see. Hold on, guys. Okay, so this is that little Zara dress with shoulder pads. It's a little short. I need a a longer boots to pull this off, but. I just be reaching for whatever is close to me so I would if it's good just a little short and for one dollar I'll take it so let me try this Zara oversized boxy jacket with this yep it already has shoulder pads and this jacket has shoulder pads so we are going to do the double shoulders and it's gonna be way too much but hey we are going to make it work street style yes
Nice. If I don't want to do the Zara jacket, I could do a men's blazer. But I'm liking this. I will try it with a men's blazer too. This is the Zara women's. I love the fact that it has that little, you know, split thingy going over there. Nice, nice, nice. Look like crisscross. Beautiful. I wonder if you have on pants, maybe you could tuck it in and then just let this pad hang. Ah, that would be such a vibe. Yes, you can create your own style. Yes, guys, look at that. Yeah, if I had on maybe one a pair of jeans, I could tuck this part of this blazer in and just let the front hang and that be that. So I am pairing this up with my pointy toe. Nice little suede shindig right there. Yeah, the dress works. One dollar, guys, for this dress. How about that? Yep. Love it. So, I can... If I don't want to do it with this black, um, Zara jacket, I can try it on with a men's. Double-breasted jacket. So, this is the Zara one. As you guys have seen this. You guys remember I got the Zara jacket from Marshalls. So now let's play. Let's put a men's blazer over this and see how this is gonna turn out. This has shoulder pads too. You know, the men's blazers all have that built-in shoulder pads so make them look manly, like the football players or stuff, something like that. So yeah, that'll give you the same effect. I think Zara was coming for the men's blazer, so nice. I actually like this better. I really do. I'm liking this one better. Yes, 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 yes. Love it, love it, love it. Guys, I'm just grabbing bags. This is probably not a bag I'm gonna carry with this, but that's the bag that's closest to me. <laughs> so that's the bag we're gonna play with. Yes, I only got this bag here, and I got the pink, which we know. And then what I was carrying today is my Evelyn crossbody, which if I wanna do street style, I probably could, but I think it takes away from the outfit. Uh, this is my run around going thrifting bag. I can throw whatever in there, hands free, do what it do. But um, I won't carry this bag to go out to dinner. No way, no how. It's not a dinner bag. It's just street style run around, call it a day. And this. Maybe I have something in black that I can rock with. Yeah, I think I like the men's blazer, blazer with this more than I like the uh, Zara blazer. What you all think? So yeah, that's that. I didn't. I thought I wasn't going to do a try haul, but you guys know me. I'll be like, I don't feel like it. Nah, 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 nah. But then I turn around. I was like, I can let my people down. I cannot let my people down. So this is this um Rachel Pe um Rachel Polly um cardigan trench coat kind of thingy. This too doesn't have a belt, but it's just cute, 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 cute. It's like rayon and cotton. Just keep it moving. I would literally wear this with some jeans. I won't wear this with this dress. It's just not doing it. Not at all. That does not work. So the only thing that I didn't try on, guys, which I don't think I need to, 
Ah, the pants. You guys know how pants fit. But I'll literally just probably style this with one of my tweed jackets. Maybe we're going to try it on with this tweed. Yes, last but not the least, we'll do that. Hold on, guys. Okay, so we have the H&M pants. Size 10, a little big. I have it on with my chunky boots. Still a little big. We're going to try. Usually I take a size 8. Size 8 is my true size. I can squeeze into a 6. It just depends on how it's cut. But then when we start going to the 10s, I start having a little problem. I feel like it's going to fall off. I don't have enough butt back there to hold it back there so it don't go anywhere. <laughs> That's the athletic in me. It's like I was a runner. I'm not behind. Yes. So yeah, it has the pockets like this. And then I can throw on this the Zara jacket too. That was a dollar, the tweed, tweed green. I'm not such a fan of this particular jacket, but it was a dollar, so it keeps it keeps doing strange things on the lining. I don't know why. Why? Why? I love my Zara jackets, but this particular one, not so much. Yeah, see? You see how it's doing a strange thing back there? But uh, maybe it's just the lining is a little bit off. So yeah, this is good. This is really good. So those are the pants for a dollar. And the Zara jacket is a dollar. It's a nice little tweed. I don't know why it's kind of not trying to lay flat maybe i need to skim it it could be that it's been bunched up so much in the racks so yeah i can actually wear that with that because he has that green to it not so much that color belt but that's the belt that's here so i can do this cross body because then now i'm casual I'm giving you street style here. Just kind of a shopping outfit. If you're going to the mall, and you're going to maybe even the movies, maybe even dinner with your husband. If you don't feel like dressing, going all out, they'll be like, okay, come on, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. So I have on my Nicole Miller chunky boots. I got these boots at Marshalls too. They're like stretchy fabric. I love it. They're so comfortable. I've been running around. I mean, they've become one of my Union Jacks. I wear them so much. It's like, hello. You would think that's the only pair of shoes this girl has. But they're so comfy. So what can I tell you? So yeah. H&M pants. Zara Tweet jacket for the one dollar, one dollar, so two, one dollar here, one dollar there. My little lacy top I've had for years. Then this beautiful bag I got um, from TJ Maxx by Anna Paula. So, yes, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful love this outfit so yeah i didn't think i was gonna try anything but you guys know me you should know me by now jackie says she ain't gonna do it but then she start feeling bad okay there's this cute little number i said this was gonna be the last outfit but i lied so we're gonna try this with the plaid skirt Yay! Let's see how that works. Now, I'm a little scared. This too is a size small. And this Zara here is made in... Where is this made in? Because then I will know if it's going to fit me or not. Well, it's made in Turkey. So, 
might have to bring it all the way up here we shall see so let's try this this will be the last one guys hold on all right guys so here is the skirt and the zara knit so i kind of put a little belt because the skirt is like way up here and you can see my little tummy tongue right there i'm not wearing the right undies need some skins to kind of hold this part in yes oh we can put the belt a little bit way down there bring the sweater yeah that's what we're going to do i'm going to just show my belt it's a way to hide that part of your body if you don't want it to be out there there we go so that's that sideways so yeah there's that zara zara knit sweater beautiful one dollar zara skirt size small <laughs> i'm even ashamed to say this is a size small because why should i be wearing a small at my age why you know need a little bit of something I've been skinny all my life, but when I had my children, I gained so much weight. All in my cheeks, though, and my boobs. Yes, my girls decided they were going to be the brunt of my everything. Yes, as time goes on, I'm losing everywhere else, but the girls are still staying. And I'm like, we're not going anywhere. Take it or leave it. So, yeah. Still have those boots that i think i got i forgot where i got these boots from it was either last year either burlington or ross or dds don't remember so zara skip from one dollar zara new top from one dollar kind of put it on with my chanel belt doing all the silver we style this with a top handle Nice, 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 nice. You guys, who would know I got the skirt? This, who would know I got the skirt for one dollar? Who would know my top was one dollar? I'm just bougie. But you wear this thing, spend money on other things, but not clothing. Don't spend so much money on clothing. Clothing is recyclable. This. Some of these thrift store, I mean, thrift items were owned by one person at some point. But I think this particular Zara pieces were donated by Zara because they look mighty new. Some of them still had the tags. Yes, so. One dollar, guys. Bougie, oh my God. One dollar, one dollar. So that I can put that in the middle. I like doing sideways because that gives it character. Yes, I just love me this sweater. Look at that. Look at the knit. Look at how beautiful this is. Ah, for one dollar, guys. One dollar. One dollar. Go to your goodwill, Nay. I'm not. There is no reason why I should be linking stuff because this is goodwill. It's just go to a goodwill, especially on dollar days in California. It's, it's on Thursdays. I don't know when other stores have their dollar days in other states, but you could always go to your local goodwill and ask them, when is the dollar day? The tag that runs all through the week for 50% off. As a matter of fact, it starts tomorrow. It will be a different tag. Let's say, because right now I'm 25, the purple tag is 25% off. So it's going to, the tags are gonna to change tomorrow. The purple tag is gonna become 50% off. So it's gonna be 50% off all through until Thursday. Then everything purple is gonna be $1. Then on Friday, it goes back to 50% off and then Saturday, it will be a different tag. Whatever tag was 25% of that week, 
that's the child that's gonna become 50. So yeah. So I used to go to Goodwill like Tuesdays because you know my husband is a veteran and you get 25% off. And then I kept realizing that I wasn't like doing myself any justice. I should wait until Thursday and grab those items for one dollar it just depends if it's something that i can't wait until thursday and i don't think it's going to be there on thursday then i'll pick it up but if not why thursday is the day to do it thursday guys thursday so yeah this is the haul for today i think that's it for my try on i'm just tired Maybe I should try those um, Ted Baker shoes. Yes, let's let's do that. Let's try the Ted Baker. The um, Brian Atwood. I want to wear those with pants. So, I don't know if I want to try those on, but we're going to try this. Yes. So, we can see how this... Oh, the rag and bone. I didn't try it on. I should have wanted to try on the rag and bone with the... Um, H&M pants instead of my Nicole Miller. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? All right, so. So we have the Ted Baker shoe. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oof. See the shoe? Yes. Can you see that? Beautiful. I just love the heel. I know you can't get to see it, so I'm so far away. But this is what this will look like if I was sitting in church. I get the scars on my leg. I used to be a goalkeeper. So I was a tomboy. I was rough. So don't judge me. My mom used to tell me, you are going to regret playing like your boy, your girl, be ladylike. But I didn't care. She said, you're going to regret all those scars you out there playing with your brother, fighting, playing soccer, thinking I was a boy. I'm like, I want to be the goalkeeper. So now I'm like, huh? Well, I was. I can see my knee all bruised up because I used to dive. <laughs> yes, I used to dive and catch the ball. Oh, my brother used to be so cruel. Because I was never on his team. So he made sure that he kicked the ball so hard so I could fall hard. Then I wouldn't have to follow him anymore. But anyway, I'm always telling you all something. Yes, that's me. I wanted to prove something. That I can be a soccer player. Because all my brothers are soccer players. So my other sisters were too girly. I was the only tomboy. I'm like, okay, I'm playing soccer. That's what I'm going to do. And my mom told me, you're going to regret that. But it was fun. Yay. So that was a Ted Baker. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. The Brian Atwood. Ah. If I put it on, you guys are probably going to judge me, and I don't want to do that. I'm like, Jackie. It's too small, but I don't care because I'm going to, what the hell is that? It's some annoying thing flying around here, very annoying. Like, it's trying to go to my ring light, so it better not be a moth trying to come here and eat my cashmere. It's her. Not my cashmere's. So yeah. We have the Brian Atwood. Nice color. Where is 
flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But I am going to wear this with some long pants. Probably my Donna Paramin suit. Yes. Let's see the color of this shoe. It's everything. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Brand new. Okay, so I didn't think I was going to try it on, but I did. So you guys, you see it. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why my door was open, but now I'm mad because there's something here just annoying the hell out of me. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. Look at that. Yes, guys. All right. So, that's it for the haul. Yes. Let me turn around. Guys, I'm tired. I'm sweaty. Woo, ta. I so tired. But, um, I'm just going to close this haul with what I have on. Look at how sweaty I am. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. So, that's the end of the haul. That was my dollar. My dollar day thrifting. Close it up with the Brian Atwood shoe. Yes. My nice Zara knit sweater. <sighs> but it's hot. So kind of hot. So, but anyway, I've been doing a lot. So, like, share, subscribe to this channel. Give me thumbs up, guys. It was a lot. I was sweating. The size small skirt fits me. It actually zips all the way, which I didn't think it would. But then it shows this little part right there. It's all good. I can put a belt and cover that baby step on the heels. Nice little Zara skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Love you. Like my channel. Peace, love, happiness. I'll see you guys next time. Next time, guys, give me thumbs up. I hope you like this haul. I hope you share. I hope you comment. Good comments only, please. So, bye-bye. Bye, guys. See ya.